Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas. I think we're up to day 22. <laughs> it is so early. I mean, it's not as early now as it was when I filmed the first couple clips <laughs> of this vlog. It is now just about eight o'clock and I have to jump on a call really quick or really soon, rather it's not gonna be a quick call, but I have to jump on really soon. Turn on some lights, because it's so dark in here, because it's so early. Let's have a little peek outside. Oh, it is getting cloudier. Huh. It was not that cloudy when I woke up. Just a few like wispy pink clouds from the sunset, sunrise, sunset. You can tell I'm not used to being up for a sunrise, but it does look like it is getting a little bit cloudy, which it's supposed to. I wasn't sure if it would. I'm so tired. Like, this is the most tired I have felt in the whole of Vlogmas. It's all good. It's all, it's all fine. <laughs> We'll see about going for a hike later. Like, honestly, at this point in the morning, I am so tired. I actually feel a little sick. Mornings are not my friend. They've never really been my friend, but they definitely have not been my friend since being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Like, I wasn't always this bad with mornings. They were never my favorite thing, but I could do it. I could get up early if I needed to. I have no idea what's going to happen today, so I'm trying to avoid even making plans. I've got my call from 8 until about 10. The plumber and the maintenance guy are supposed to come by around 9, which will be in the middle of my call, which would be fine, and I hope that they do actually come at 9. I'm also hoping that when the plumber does finally arrive, that whatever is wrong with my sink will be a really easy fix for the plumber. None of this is actually a big deal is what I'm trying to remind myself of and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will get fixed today. But I need to get on my call before it gets any later. I will update you. Hopefully the next time I update you, the sink will be fixed. But yeah, at this point, I feel like I said that twice yesterday and it didn't work out, so yeah, we'll see. Update. Sink is fixed. I don't know how they must have gotten access to it. The plumber didn't come. So, okay. Stop, Andrea. Slow down. So at nine o'clock, pretty much on the dot, knock at my door. Thought, fantastic. The plumber is here. That's amazing. Open the door. And it's one of the other maintenance guys. And he was rolling this like thing behind him. So somehow they must have gotten a hold of a better quality drain snake or something. Let him do what he needed to do because I was on my call. God almighty racket coming from the bathroom for about 15-ish minutes, 20-ish minutes. And then comes out and he's like, it's all right. It's all good. Like, you're done? I can only assume that somehow they got access to something that they didn't have access to yesterday because it was so fast. I don't know why they couldn't have done that yesterday, except that they must have just not had that. They might have gotten it from another property or maybe they were able to go out and rent something and that was still cheaper than calling in a plumber, which I totally get that. So yeah, he finished and then I was still on my call. So finished my call. And then I did a little bit of work at the apartment. It's still early, it's still morning. It's only 11.03 in the morning. So, but it's kind of cloudy, kind of hazy. So I'm gonna go for a hike because I, guys, y'all, y'all, 
I am so tired. I only got six hours last night. I was in bed for longer. I was in bed for eight. I was in bed for a solid eight. I turned my lights out at 11 and my alarm was set for 7 a.m. So I was in bed, eyes closed for eight hours. I only slept for six of those hours. And the last couple nights, I've only gotten like six and a half to seven hours of sleep. So I am rapidly reaching the end of my rope. And today is also the day that I wanted to finish up a lot of coaching work and get that done. And then I want to do some work on my website later this afternoon or this evening while I watch Harry Potter. But I want to try to get that done by the end of today as well. So that tomorrow I don't have to worry about work, which is good because I've got two calls tomorrow and I want to try to go hiking tomorrow and I need to film a video. I need to film my what I'm giving for Christmas video. If not tomorrow, then I will have to do it on Thursday, but I really want to do it tomorrow so that tomorrow night I can start wrapping some presents. So yeah, so I really want to be done with coaching stuff and just really be able to like click out of office. Like not that I'm going to set up an out of office message, but like assuming I did, I'd be able to do that tonight. That's where I want to be by tonight. So, but as tired as my brain is, I knew that if I stayed and continued to work, I was not going to have any energy to go for a hike. And I really want to go for a hike. I'm just, I'm loving this. So I don't want to run out of energy. Like I can make myself still do work at my desk, but forcing myself out for a hike when I'm just completely out of energy is really difficult. So we're going to sunglasses, AirPods. I've got my water. Good to go. It is nice out. It's 55 at the moment. And like I said, there's a little bit of sun, a little bit of clouds. We'll see how long this lasts. done. <laughs> I really don't know how to show any kind of self-restraint when I go out for a hike. I did one hour, 2.7, 2.07 miles, so just over two miles. Average pace, considering how tired I was today, or am today, 29 minutes per mile. Clearly was doing better than I thought. Yeah, so... I was feeling 
really, really tired the whole time I was out there. Just really felt like I was struggling. My feet feel sore and they felt really sore at one point, but then they started to feel better right towards the end. So I think it was just the terrain I was hiking over at the time. So I think my feet just don't like certain types of trail. I definitely need to be resting my feet for the rest of the day. Yeah, they were really hurting and I was worried. Oh, and we did 213 feet elevation gain. So I was getting worried, but then towards the tail end of my hike, they started doing better. Like I could tell they were tired, but they weren't sore and like in pain, like they had been just like 15 minutes prior. So I probably should have stuck with my original plan which was to do a shorter and easier hike. I was going to do about a mile and three quarters and probably about 40 or 50 minutes, but I got to the end of the main trail and I had a choice. I could go left with my original plan or I could go right with an alternate plan that would be a little bit longer, but I'd done the trail that we did today. We did it like four days ago, but in the other direction. So I knew that I could do that distance in about an hour. And I knew that by going in the direction that we went today, that I would be doing most of the uphill at the beginning of the hike and I'd have more downhill for the second half of the hike. So I thought that would make it a little bit easier and it did. And I really wanted to do that trail, that, that direction in the next couple days, but I'm not sure I'll have time tomorrow. And I'm now thinking I might take Thursday off of hiking. I feel like I've been hiking like every day for the last several days. I really wanted to go for a hike tomorrow for winter solstice. So I don't want to cancel tomorrow. I don't want to take tomorrow off, but I have a big hike planned on Friday with a friend. So I think I should probably take Thursday off. I just, we're at a point with the weather and the 10 day forecast where I can see some 70 and like 71 and even, uh, there's even a 72 degree day. Let's see what it says right now. It updates, it changes. Oh, no, yeah, Monday, 73. The day after Christmas, Boxing Day, 73 degrees. I really wish I could give it to those of you who would love those temperatures because they are wasted on me. But then Tuesday it goes down to 72 and then Wednesday it goes down to 66 and then Thursday it's saying 66. So I'm curious to see what as each day goes by, first of all, if it will stay as hot as it's saying it will be as warm. It's not hot. It's just going to get warm. I just, I'm realizing how dependent my mood is on the 10 day forecast. Like if every day on the 10 day forecast is below 70 and looks really nice, I'm in a good mood and I'm just relaxing and enjoying life. And as soon as I start to see a 70 something degree day pop back up on the 10 day forecast, so much anxiety. And I really need to work on that. Anyway, it is now 1223. I'm going to go home and get myself freshened up and get back to work because I still have a lot of work to do. But I think I can get all of that done by five or most of it done by five. It's time for me to stop. 
today because I'm making really stupid mistakes. I was feeling so good. I'd made so much progress and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna do one more thing and I'll be so glad like tomorrow or the next day that I've done it because I won't have to do it then the next couple days. So I printed off some pages for my planner for 2023 because I need to be figuring out the vlog schedule for after Vlogmas. So I printed out the month on one page in full size and the month on one page in half size um, because this is how I track my work month to month writing wise and then I have the month on two pages and the week on two pages that's like my actual planner but I wanted to print out the week on the month on one page full size for YouTube planning and then I went back to the 2022 files and printed off the month on one page for December of this year so that I could map out the week after vlogmas ends and then map out January and then I thought well, I was gonna print out the other 2023 pages but I neglected to go back to the 2023 folder so I just printed out a bunch of pages for 2022 that I don't need I'm done <laughs> I'm done like I'm really done I will mess with this later I will try again tomorrow. A good thing I didn't like print off the whole thing. I was just trying to print off the month on two pages and the all the front calendar bits and the first uh, the the week on two pages for all of January. So it wasn't that much. I was just trying to print off enough to kind of get me started for the new year. It's fine. I'll, I'll get it printed eventually. <laughs> but so far today, I have managed to get quite a bit done. I think I'm done with everything I had wanted to get done by today. There are a few things that I migrated and moved to January and that is fine, but I got some big stuff done, including some big changes to, well not big changes, some changes to my website. Today was the last day I wanted to work on stuff, so I feel like at this point I can say I'm officially on break completely, like I'm on my personal Christmas break. So I'd wanted to be done before winter solstice so that I could just kind of enjoy the day tomorrow. Not that I do much to celebrate winter solstice, but still like I just it felt like it's a holiday that deserves to be celebrated as well as Christmas. And so I didn't really want to be working on winter solstice and I can just kind of relax and maybe do some writing. So I think at this point from now through New Year's, if I have some extra time, like the time I've been spending on teaching work and coaching work, I can now spend on writing. And so hopefully I can start getting some writing done because <laughs> that, that would be really nice. It just would. I'm actually going to switch. I'm going to close some of these files that have been open and I'm going to switch Scrivener back to my across the pond theme. I put it on a different theme just so I wouldn't confuse myself. I need to go back to my London springtime theme. But oh, my word count, I'm not gonna get this book done when I had hoped. I had hoped, first I'd hoped by New Year's, then I'd hoped by the end of winter break. And unless I just start doing a crap ton of writing each day, it's not gonna be done by Sunday, January 8th, which is the day before the semester starts. Let's see what happens if I put January 31st as our deadline. Even that's still a thousand words a day. I just don't know that that's gonna happen. I'm trying to get my word count down to something more realistic, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave it at January 31st and I might be able to bring that word count down. But anyway, I need to blow out this candle 
I've been burning my warm and cozy candle here by my desk, which has been lovely, and I need to close these blinds because it's gotten dark. We had a lovely little sunset. Went out on the balcony and filmed that for you guys. So I feel like this video started with a very pink, pretty sunrise. Can't believe I was up before the sunrise today. And now it's wrapping up with a pretty pink sunset. So I'm now going to step away from my desk because I can't even print anything correctly. So clearly I need to go rest. So I'm gonna go sit down and get Harry Potter turned on. I did start Deathly Hallows part one. I got like five or 10 minutes into it. So I'm gonna put that back on and continue watching that. And I'll get dinner going in a moment. But now it is time for me to just relax and shift to having a very cozy, relaxed evening because I am so tired. Oh, I did manage to get everything put on to this hard drive. So I'm gonna double check it on my laptop tomorrow, but I think I will be able to reformat my old one. I managed to get everything on here, which is fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna go start relaxing and winding down and probably go to bed early tonight, but I will talk to you before I do that and we'll end the vlog properly. So yeah, I'm wrapping up and settling in for the evening and going to have a nice time watching Harry Potter and feeling very proud of myself because I did get a lot done. Like the issue with the printer and like printing the wrong pages aside, I got a lot done and I did really good with all of it and I'm feeling very good about that. And I feel like I can now really rest and relax and not worry about anything because all the important stuff has gotten wrapped up. So now I can just enjoy the next like week and a half, which is fantastic. Around midnight, way up high, there's an angel in the sky, the glitter and the shine. She must be divine What a night What a sight Ring the bells Loud and clear Have the reindeers Reappear Take my hand You promised land Here upon a star I've sent my wishes far to get <sighs> all right it is after 10 o'clock and I really need to go to bed I'm so tired but I'm also very happy that I can actually wash my face and brush my teeth in the bathroom sink like a normal human being that would be great <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that was just this morning that it finally got fixed. Like, this day. This is why I don't like waking up before sunrise. Because it just makes the day too long. <laughs> it just feels like today has been five days in one. Like, honestly, I've been thinking about it as I've been sitting here tonight and I really did get a lot of work done. More than just what I was hoping to get done. So I do feel like I'm in a good position to like really just take some time off now. But it's been a lovely evening. I ended up watching both Deathly Hallows part one and two. I don't know what it is about those movies, but I just, it, all the other Harry Potters, I can watch one per evening, but I get to the last two and I just wanna finish. So that's what I did. <laughs> but I am done with the marathon. And then after Harry Potter ended, I've just been laying here on the couch watching YouTube. And now I just, I really, I can feel it. I need to get in bed. I've stayed up long enough and I'm tired enough that I could probably fall asleep right now. So I'm gonna try to 
get to sleep by 11. So before I end this vlog, we need to do our question of the vlog. So I'm gonna pull a slip out of the jar and we will see what this question says. Okay, favorite holiday song or album? So do you have a favorite festive song or holiday album? I have many. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for Christmas music. My favorites though, I know that I can pick a favorite song because there's way too many. I can't even do a top 10. But Christmas albums that I always, always come back to. Celine Dion's Christmas album, but I love her Christmas album. Any of Amy Grant's Christmas albums, but particularly, I think it was her second one. It came out in like the mid 90s and it's the one that has Breath of Heaven on it as well as a whole bunch of other one, other songs and her version of It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. As soon as I hear the first like opening strain of that song, I am immediately in the Christmas mood. So yeah, I think Amy Grant and Celine Dion are definitely classics. So yeah, those are probably my top favorites um, as far as Christmas albums go. I'm always looking for good Christmas music recommendations though. So yeah, let me know your favorite Christmas music or holiday music in general. So yeah, uh, give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great stuff. And let's chat Christmas music and holiday music down in the comments. And I am going to go to bed now. So I will see you all tomorrow in the next day of Vlogmas. Thank you very much for watching today. Bye! When the snow started falling But then I knew It was you Around midnight Way up high There's an angel Every night Take my hand, you promised land He